Yes. Now we'll discuss about the ulna. Its shaft and lower end. Part one of the ulna. First of all, we'll make a diagram. This is an anterior view of the ulna. This is an anterior view of the ulna. And here is posterior view of the ulna. Posterior view of the ulna. This is anterior view, this is posterior view. Here is position of radius. This is position anterior view of the radius. This is posterior view of the radius. Now, we'll discuss about the lower end and shaft of the ulna. This is ulna. It has lower end. This part is shaft. This is upper end. First of all, we'll discuss about the lower end. This is lower end. It has a process here, posterior medially. This process is a stylized process. And here is articular surface. This articular surface is head of the ulna. This is the head of the ulna. This articulates with the ulnar notch of radius. In the radius, this is ulnar notch. So it articulates through this and form the inferior radio ulnar joint. Here inferior radio ulnar joint is formed. So in the lower end there is a stalled process and head of the ulna and here you can see posteriorly there is a groove. Here is a groove. This groove is for the extensor carpi Ulnaris. Here, tendon of the extensor carpi ulnaris process. This is posterior view. So, steroid process. Here is steroid process. This is head. This is head. Now, we will discuss about the shaft of the ulna. This is right hand side of the ulna. If you cut a section at this level, you will find is like this. This border is lateral border. This is lateral border. It is also known as interosseous border. 
this is interosseous border and here is anterior border this border is anterior border this is posterior border so there are three borders lateral border which is interosseous border this is lateral border this is anterior border this is anterior border here and this is posterior border this is posterior border this is posterior border and surfaces this is anterior surface between interosseous and anterior border so this is anterior surface and medial side this is medial surface so this is anterior this is medial and this is posterior surface this surface is posterior surface anterior surface has a foramen this foramen is known as nutrient foramen Foramen. Direction of the foramen is upward, and here one artery passes that is a branch of anterior interosseous artery. So, here anterior interosseous artery branch that is nutrient branch passes through this towards the upper side. So direction is upward. So, this is all about the Part first, shaft and lower end.